Today, let's talk about Slaughter. I think this is one of the best heroes right now. It was one of the most buffed heroes of 7.24. It's got a 55% win rate on the Dota 2 Pro Tracker over, I believe, around 8,000 games. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about two different ways to play him. The offlane version that is more around blink, and then the right click version that can be played in the safe lane. We're going to be following Cuckoo, one of the best offlaners in the world, and then Gork, the best safe laner in the world. In fact, he's so good, he's on OG. On top of this video, I'll be making a monkey replay analysis soon for the main website. So I just played in a pub, I played monkey mid against the Morphling. I was playing extremely aggressive, getting inside the enemy jungle, and really just experimenting with the new style of mid that I've been seeing from players like Chris Luck and Topson for the past few months. So if you're interested in that content, go check out the main Game Leap website in the description below. It's very cheap. I put out a lot of content there, basically a video every single day, whether it's for me or another top tier creator over on the website. So hopefully I'll see you there. And once again, it's just down in the description. We're gonna be trying something a little bit different today. I'm not necessarily gonna be following their gameplay in depth. I'm really just gonna make sure you guys understand the builds and exactly what you need to do to implement it. And then, you can either watch the gameplay yourself or just test Slaughter out and give him a good old try to figure out what works in your opinion. First, let's just talk about offlane Slaughter and what I recommend you do to win the lane. Typically, I recommend you pick some sort of ranged hero that has harass, especially a follow-up stun or slow is absolutely fantastic. In fact, this applies to either the safe lane or the offlane Slaughter. In this game with Cuckoo, he's laning with a Skyrath Mage. Absolutely perfect. Another high damage hero that is going to allow you to dominate the laning stage. If the enemy was not running a lone turret, they would get demolished. Lone Druid is probably one of the better heroes against Slaughter because he can actually deal with the pressure. But if that wasn't the case, whoo, GG. Other heroes that are good are, you know, Snapfire is totally fine. Lina is good. Enchantress is fantastic. you got a lot of options on the table. Really just any range hero I think does quite well. For killing people, it's generally important that by level three of two points in bash, one point in stun, typically you're going to take stun at level one just because it's going to allow you to secure creeps, which sounds a bit weird, right? But it really does make sense if you think about it. Like the bash can be a bit hard to use effectively on enemy heroes if they're playing around it, like if they're actually paying attention. But if you look at this clip here with the bash and now the, the sprint at level four, which is what you should be doing, you're able to secure a ton of kills with the help of your range support. In terms of item build, I want to make it very clear, guys, you should become a right clicker. You do not want to play this current version of Slaughter in a monotone way that is just, I'm going to gank and gank and gank and I'm going to go Brown Boots, Blink, and Gank. No, your hero is not designed to play that way. Ever since they changed your passive to be charge based, you have to farm more now. And I know this might sound weird, but Slaughter is a farmer. You are a farmer that ganks around item timings. All right. Old Slaughter used to go Tranquil Boots, and then when he hit level six, would just yeet it across the map looking for kills. That was also a different patch. Times have changed. Please do not leave your lane. If you do well, don't feel the need to gank, gank, gank. What is much better and is going to allow you to snowball far faster is by simply sitting in your lane, continuing to kick whoever you can out of lane because you're one of the most dominant heroes in the laning stage, right? And that's exactly what we're going to see. Ron set the lone druid, secures a kill, versus the TP, continuing to amp his farm. This is the way to go. Do this no matter what game you're playing. And this is all fleeing slaughter, to be clear. Moving on from there, right as he gets his blink dagger timing, you're basically going to want to smoke, and this is a great item build. You have the stick and clarities because your hero has some quite large mana issues if you're actually being active. And then, once you get your, your blink dagger, go smoke with the heroes that deal a lot of damage. Skyrath Mage, Viper, smoke, go run at someone. Really simple formula. Farm, 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 Just control your lane, control your lane, get that blink, smoke it up, get some kills. And that's exactly what he's going to do here. He's going to run to the mid lane and try to just pick up some nice key kills. This is going to allow him, his Viper, who is already snowballing, to snowball even further, right? This is a great concept in Dota. Whenever you have a fighting hero on your team that is snowballing very hard, it's good to play around them, especially if you're a space creator. Not 100% of the time, which I'm going to make clear again in a moment, but right? Viper's level 12. He's very, very farmed. The enemy team was trying to set up on him, so he secures the kill. And it's just a great way to help them now get the mid tower. But now, as you're going to see right after that mid lane gank, what does he do? This is not your traditional offlaner. In fact, almost no offlaners are that traditional, right? The old style of Dota where you would make a play and then make another play and then make another play. No, this is the new style of Dota. You basically have three cores in a lot of these games now and Slaughter is no exception. He goes to farm Ancients. You're one of the best Ancient farmers in the game. He managed to get the broom handle, which helps a lot. Good armor, good damage. And really, this is what you want to do. You want to gank, slow down the pace, kill a camp, meet back up with your team. And he keeps doing this, right? Meets up with his team. Is he just walking around in circles waiting for a kill? 
no, no, no. Stop, guys. If you want to get to High Mamar, you got to do this. And that looks like exactly what he does as this fight breaks out. So he's just going to kind of chill around. And frankly, I actually got confused by this gameplay, but he was hunting for the OD. And this is all you need to do, right? Play around your farm cores and you're going to have a lot of success. Try to amp up anyone that your teammates are going on. And then often what you want to try to do is either one shot supports or amp up the carries that you know your carry is going to be trading with. For your next item, this is probably the most standard and best item build you can go on this current slaughter. You do have some options. You could go up Vlad's if you think your team needs it. You could be some weird pipe carrier. But for the most part, I like the option of being tanky, being a frontliner and a hero that can actually deal damage. So much so that he actually maxed out sprint and through this entire game, if you look at his skill build, in fact, I'll go to it right now, where you're going to notice is that he actually balanced out his skills a lot. So he was one point into the stun, then two points into the bash, and then started just switching through the other skills, right? Then he got sprint, another point in stun, then another point in sprint, then another point in stun, but then a point in bash, back to the sprint. He kind of just was like 2-2-2, two, 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 then 3-3-3. Three, three, three. It, it was a bit weird, but I think he just really values each of the spells, which is uncommon on most heroes. Now let's take one more quick look at the offlane slaughter and one more fight before we move on to Gork's farming slaughter. So as we're going to see here, he TP's top and he decided to go on the bear. I think they just straight up thought they could kill it. Uh, I mean, you do so much damage, you am so much that, that I don't really blame them. Also, the lone druid showed for a little bit, so maybe they thought they could straight up kill it. Regardless, the legion ended up going in. She unfortunately does not have a BKB at this point, so it's uh, quite a dangerous duel from the legion because he's so tanky, right? The BKB, two bracers, a stick strength power treads he does not even come close to dying and is easily going to be able to chase the enemy team down if desired and that's exactly what he's going for here he senses the line he's smelling them unable to catch him but hopefully that makes a lot of sense where you want to go this build and then following that just because this is important in my opinion they're immediately going to smoke so they kick the enemy team out of top then they go immediately to bottom and they're continuing to hunt with this bkb blink dagger timing you notice how the main time he's been fighting in this game is around an item timing right first the blink now the bkb that's just fantastic and yeah, now he's sort of just hunting throughout this game. Once you have this timing, you can really do whatever you want. He manages to find the lone druid here. You're going to amp him up and prevent the TP. And yeah, this is just a lot of impact. Once your team gets ahead with the slaughter, it's very, very hard to lose, which is why this hero is so potent. You're so unbelievably good at snowballing because you take Roche. You're one of the fastest heroes in Dota. You can keep the tempo and it's extremely hard to deal with. So much so that he's even willing to BKB for a lion kill, which is pretty funny. Uh, but... but Honestly, I don't blame him. It's just like you take what kills you can get. Imagine if you kill two supports during your BKB timing. The fight's instantly over. And that's the power of this offlane slaughter. You're like another right clicking core that can either help out his teammates and play a defensive role, or you can go this BKB route and sort of kill everyone. All right, now let's get into the Gork replay. So first things first, you're going to want to max the bash on the safe lane slaughter. In particular, I recommend you pick it against safe lane melee heroes. Actually, I should say offlane melee heroes. Reason being is you are an optimal hero at zoning them out. Also, one thing you consider is if you pick safe lane slaughter, you can often recommend for your team to aggro tri lane, put three heroes in the off lane, and you can basically act as an off laner in the safe lane. And the reason why this is good is if you get a 1v1, slaughter is one of the best, if not the best, 1v1 hero in Dota, considering how many matchups he actually just straight up crushes. But now getting into it, in this game, he has complete free farm. He laned against a solo Bloodseeker uh, for the large majority of it, so obviously he's not going to have a lot of issues. You have no problem dual laning, though, or playing against you know, two heroes, once again, you are a very strong laner, especially once you hit this level four, you are one of the highest kill threat heroes in Dota. Moving on though, throughout the majority of the game, he doesn't make too many rotations. He made one to help out with the top fight, which is why he has a kill. But for the most part, he's been farming. He has treads and a wind lace. I like the wind lace because, you know, considering he's not buying any bracers, this helps him be a little bit more survivable or just more aggressive in the early game while he's going for this battle fury. And I know guys, I hear you now. Battle fury slaughter, are you insane speed? Why wouldn't you just play PL? Okay, first off, you're kind of right. I don't think this... <laughs> I don't think this is the best way to play Slaughter. I'm actually being fully serious. I am putting this in a video because I think it's interesting. I love trying things out in Dota, and I think it has potential. Right? Potential. Because Slaughter is a good laner who, with a Battle Fury, can scale. I think if it was to work, you have to try this out. I think builds that could work are... Battle Fury Mask of Madness BKB, uh, you lack some armor, but it does give you the ability to be survivable against magical damage based lineups and deal with them very effectively. And I think the reason why Gork actually almost threw this game, as we'll see a little bit later on, is because he did not have a BKB for the large majority of it. And I think it really, really hurt him. So we'll, we'll kind of look that over and I'll give you my thoughts on it. But overall, there should be intrigue around this build is what I'll say. And the difference here between the other Slaughter is you're going to spend more time farming, right? The other Slaughter would spend time farming Ancients and, and things like that. 
but this version of Slaughter is going to farm a bit more small camps and medium camps, but you still want to show up the fights, right? Look at his skill belt. It's a fighting based build, you're going to max out the sprint, so you can show up the fights and you're going to see that here, right? The Io, who's actually level 13, which is insane, this Io is farming so fast, it's like a jungle or mid Io or something like that, It's actually going to get slaughtered here, amped up, prep the 3 bash, right, so on the way out he hits him, stun, and he's down. I mean, it's just really an insane amount of damage. Obviously a lucky invis rune, but oof, it's, it's crazy. Moving on to here, I just want to quickly th show a clip, and I know this might be weird. It's like, I speed, you're trying to convince us to do this, right? Well, I do want to show the downsides of this current build. It's very expensive, right? This is a lot of gold. He's the top number in the game, and he doesn't necessarily do a ton in the fight right now. If he can get on top of them, he'll just destroy them, right? But that can be the issue, especially against these high moral players. Also, the Bloodseeker it has Rupture, right? They have plenty of stuns, slows, etc. So it can be kind of hard for him to get on top of them, which is why I kind of recommend the trying out something like a BKB early build or a Mask of Madness build. And yeah, I, I do see where he's going because next he's going to be going for the Sanj and Yasha to help with the movement speed issues. But just look at this fight here. He has some issues actually killing them. Decides to go on a Bloodseeker here, which personally, I don't think is a good decision. The reason why I think this is a bad decision and I would have probably preferred him to go on the Jakiro it's only because the Bloodseeker had already committed Rupture, and other than that, th this guy is essentially a bot, like, he's extremely underfarmed, so I'd rather kill the utility in the backline. Regardless, both of them, actually both of the cores commit on the Bloodseeker, which, yeah, I don't know, I think it was just foolish. Like, his build is literally just designed to be a tank. He's like a tank, and they commit everything on him. They get kited out because of this. Um, good team fighting from the enemy side as well, but basically, this is kind of the problem. You don't have a BKB, so you can't really push further. Even with the Aegis, he has to kite out here because his team gets gone on. And uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I think it's alright. Alright, skipping ahead here to a fight that kind of shows off the potential power of this build. We're really just going to see the point where he gets a BKB. And this is kind of the timing you're going for. You want to do a lot of wave shoving. You want to do only a bit of fighting, right? You kind of want to be farming. And then like the goal of this safe lane slaughter is to farm, farm, farm. You see a good fight close to you. So you can even farm towards your team. Show up to it, secure some kills, and then go back to farming. Right, so you can hit a timing like this where you have a lot of DPS items plus that BKB. And then, yeah, you're going to be able to put in work and we're going to see a buyback fight here. He's going to amp up the IO. He's level 25, so that is completely undispellable, which is very, very strong. Incredible curse on the back line. And now they're going to be able to chase. Obviously, once again, an amp up. Does miss the stun, but obviously it's very easy to chase as this slaughter and bops and bolt down. So really, the thing about the slaughter is if you can get in, you're going to deal a lot of damage. The problem is getting in, so uh, really, I'm excited to see experiments of this hero as a safe laner. I think maybe a Shadow Blade could be alright, especially in low MMR pubs. And uh, yeah, I'm just very curious to see how this works out. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, really are inspired maybe to try out Slaughter. I do have to say that I recommend offlane a little bit more, just the treads plus stats. Run around, take ancients here and there type of style, not this AFK farm slaughter. I don't think that's what the hero is designed to do. I don't think he's optimized to do it, but it is an option that I want to put on the table and was fascinated by, so here it is. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't like subscribe. And if you're going to play slaughter, let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> See ya. Are you tired of being hard stuck at your rank? Over at GameLeap.com, we have a library of hundreds of guides authored by pro players and coaches covering literally every aspect of Dota. Whether you're looking to master a new hero or role or just polish up your existing skills, Game Leap is the proven place for competitive gamers to hone their craft and unlock their secret potential. Hit the link on screen right now, right now, to take advantage of our special offer for a 25% discount, guys, 25%, and start your journey today.